Okay, let's give you guys another example. So here we are going to try and integrate this. We are trying to integrate this. So remember, uh, looking back at this, looking back at this, uh, looking back at this, keep an eye out, generally speaking, roughly speaking, keep an eye out on even, even. Then if, if it's even, even, then you should, we should be making use of this as opposed to this. So, uh, so gen roughly speaking, keep an eye out on this being even and even. So in this case here, in this case here, it's even and even. So now we, we should be uh, making use of this. Okay, so, so make use of this. So remember, sine, sine squared is, uh, is this, cos squared is this. So now we can put it into here and then into here. That would then take us to, um, to here. Okay, so now, uh, now f uh, factor out the, uh, the well, if, if you look at this here, you've got a, a something over 2. And then if you look at this here, it's something, something over 2 times something over 2 because it's squared here. So that will then give you 8. So factor out the 8 and then everything on top will be on, on, on the same line. So now uh, multiply this out. Hang on. Uh, multiply this out. So it's this times this. That will then give you this. This times this. That will then give you this. This times this, that would then give you this. Uh, this times this, that would then give you this. This times this, that would then give you this. This times this, that would then give you this, and so on. So this uh, this whole thing here will become this, and then tidy up, and then it should take you to um, to here, um, because uh, because if you look at this um, cos squared here, uh, and then you've got cos squared here, so you can merge these two together, uh, and then and then uh, you've got to the power of 3 here, to the power of 3, uh, this one here, uh, you can merge it with this, and so on. Simplify it, it will then take you to here. And then, um, and then, and then now, uh, oh yeah, so now, um, now, remember, if, if you're trying to integrate this whole thing here, that's the same as you taking the integral of this, plus the integral of this, plus the integral of this, plus, well, the point here is that, because these two here are, are easy to do, and here you've got to the power of two, to the power of three. Let's just integrate these two, and then and then sort this out later on. So because the, these two are easy to integrate, so let's let's integrate these two, and then uh, and then concentrate on on integrating this whole thing here later on. Okay, so integrate. So concentrate on integrating this. We will sort this out later because this here is quite complicated. So integrate this. That will then give you this. Integrate this. That will then give you this, and then uh, and then here. Don't, don't forget, this is a minus and a minus. So so take out the minus. That will then give you this. This minus here. That will then give you this minus here. And then what's inside will be positive. So basically, you factor out the minus one. So that will then give you this whole thing here. So now we can just concentrate on on integrating this. And then um, yeah. So so integrating this. Um, uh, let, let's let's break this up into uh, into this, and then break this up into this. Now let's concentrate on integrating this. Okay. So don't forget, this is a positive. This is a negative. This is a negative, and this is a positive. So so let's let's just concentrate on integrating this and integrating this. Okay, so let's do it separately because it's quite complicated. So now, um, now we need uh, we let, let's do two of these separately. So let's let's concentrate on integrating this, and then later on we're going to integrate this, and then later on we're going to put everything back into here. Okay, so so let's just look at look at this case here. Let's integrate this. Let's start with this one here. So so this thing here we uh, we are going to integrate this. Okay, so so looking at this. That will then give us this thing here. Remember, we've got a, a two x here, so we are we we are we are sorry. We are going to make use of this to take us from here to here. But then, if you look at this here, you've got two x here. So so when you when you have two x here, you put it into here. So that will then become four x. That's why you've got four x here. Uh, so so let, let's try and integrate this. This here will be this. So now we are just concentrating on this one. We will take care of this later on. Okay, so so integrating this and then it's blah blah blah. That will then take you to here. Okay, so now now let's concentrate on this 
we are now going to in integrate this. So integrating that, so that's uh, that's this bit here. Okay, so integrating that, that that will then give you um, that will then blah blah blah. That will then give you give you this. Okay, that will then give you this. Now substitute everything back in. Um, th th don't forget you've got a um, hang on, bear with me. Well, when when we did this one here, we've got a constant here, and then uh, and then when when we integrate this, it, it it will give us this. Hang on, it will give us this. So rather than having lots of constants floating around, we we're going to leave all the constants right to the end and then merge them all together. Okay, so so just bear that in mind. Yes, you've got a constant up there. You've got a, another constant. You can merge those constants together. So uh, so uh, so now we hang on. Let's go back. Let's let's go back a step right there. So we are currently here. We are currently here. So uh, we need to integrate this, and then we need to integrate this. Okay, so so integrating this would give us would give us this thing here. And then, uh, and then we we uh, uh, in integrating, hang on, and then integrating this here would give us this. Bear with me. Would give us, would give us, would give us this. Now put the two together. So, uh, so earlier, earlier we were here. Okay. So we we needed to integrate this, and we needed to integrate this. Now integrate. Well, this basically. This this thing here will become this, okay, and then this thing here will become this. So now tie, tidy this whole thing up. That will then give you that will then give you this, okay. You you might have to pause the video and really think about it because um when when you're here um you, you can see you've got a half here, a half here, and a half here. Let's imagine this as two x over over two here, so you can actually factor out the half. So fa factor out the half that will then give you one over sixteen. Don't forget this two x here will be this two x here. Okay, so so the trick is imagine it, imagine it as this, and then factor out the half. So uh, so this bit here will become this, and and so on. So it's blah blah, um, blah blah blah, and then overall the answer will be this. Okay.